robotic is a software uh, models. Generally, there are eight models. Uh, again, further classified into first generation, second generation, and third generation. In first generation, we have First generation we have these models, waterfront prototype, spiral, increment and drag. That is nothing but ra uh, rapid application development. In waterfall model, generally we all know about the SDLC, software development life cycle. It starts from requirement, uh, uh, requirement gathering. Next. Uh, We all know about the uh, software development life cycle. These are the uh, activities done in that life cycle. Uh, coming to part of water, waterfall cycle, all these steps are all these uh, activities are done in step by step. Uh, it's simple, and uh, every activity can be. Uh, it is easy because as it, as it is a step by step process, we can uh, uh, clarity clarity check uh, each uh, process. And next uh, waterfall in waterfall model, we can't uh, add uh, new modules. Means it is uh, impossible to have a change. Uh, if we have, if we need to add a uh, new modules, it uh, the, uh, that will be the drawback of a waterfall model. And in prototype uh, prototype model, we'll have a rough uh, or a dummy prototype. We'll make a dummy copies. I mean, all these activities are done only by rough copies we make. Uh, uh, here, the requirements of uh, in prototype. Uh, prototype model, requirement gathering, I mean requirements from a client are uh, always changing and next uh, coming to part of a prototype model, all these are all these are done in a uh, dummy models, only if we get a positive response during a deployment, uh, when we release a deployment is nothing but when we release a application or a product into market, where if we get a positive response then it is uh, uh, it is made, uh, then it will be it will be successful. If not, uh, it is sent back again to the, uh, again necessary changes is done and then again uh, till we get the positive response we will continue the process and next uh, next type of uh, uh, more, uh, software, uh, software modeling is spiral. Spiral is nothing but uh, all this process are done in a uh, spiral way uh, like this. From uh, uh, regarding that, if uh, if we get the refer collecting the requirements from a user or a customer, and then we go for planning, and then after designing, coding, in, uh, testing, right after writing coding, and then we go for testing, and if it is uh, successful, we will release it into a market. If not, again the process will be repeated. So it is in a spiral wave. So it is named as a spiral model. And coming to part of increment model, generally increment uh, type of model is uh, suitable for a large project uh, where we can split the uh, large project into different modules and then we can do test. Uh, so it can be beneficial and time saving. Next, uh, rapid application development. Uh, it is nothing but when we have a exact copy, I mean if, uh, if a requirements uh, that we need are similar 
to the existing one because if we already have a similar uh, documents and the uh, and the client also gives the same uh, requirements then we can we use uh, in order to make the fast uh, prototype we use that uh, existing document or existing uh, application model that is known as uh, rapid application development this is all about first generation and regarding second generation models fish and we model we call it fish because As it is uh, in the shape of uh, fish, we call it as fish model. Coming to part of our uh, activities that we done in this uh, model is requirement gathering. During that, a uh, business analyst will uh, made a B BRS business requirement specification document, and next uh, we go for planning. And here, uh, system uh, system requirement uh, specification is done. And in design phase, uh, we will get a uh, low level design and high level designs and uh, coding. Uh, in coding, uh, that uh, all Coding is done by the development team and uh, here we will have a white box text, a white box testing. Here we will do two types of testing, unit and integration and coming to part of it. After that, if it is uh, correct or we, we don't find any errors or uh, defects, uh, then we go for a testing and after te in testing we, we do <coughs> In testing, we do black box test, black box testing. Black box box uh, testing is nothing but uh, we'll do systematic system and user def, uh, user defined uh, test. Uh, and uh, next, uh, if it is successful, then we'll go for maintenance. Uh, we'll go for deployment. After that, if we have any uh, any any problems or regarding the service, then we go for maintenance. And if we need any changes, then uh, here there will be a special team to have to do the changes. This is all about uh, fish models. Next, coming to part of B model. Verification and valid verific, uh, B model is also called as verification and validation. Here both the verification and validation run simultaneously. Uh, verification is nothing but uh, in order to tell a small example, verification is uh, uh, whether the process is wrong or right. But validation is whether the product is right or wrong. I mean whether the product is right or wrong. That means uh, uh, this is before uh, making the uh, making the product or uh, 
before starting the processor. And validation is after the product is done, whether it is a uh, right or wrong. If we check that, it is validation. In a uh, B model, we uh, we done that both uh, simultaneously. Um, is like this. All the uh, so, uh, software development life cycle comes on a uh, this side, like uh, requirement gathering. It is in the shape of V. All this, this is this part is uh, in this part we do verification and this part is a uh, validation. Here, both the uh, develop, uh, development team as well as the testing team both uh, work simultaneously. That means, tested even before. Uh, Application uh, even if uh, even before developing the application, the tester also starts working. Uh, or both the, in this model, both the develop, developer and tester work simultaneously. This is all about the second generation models. And in third generation, we have an agile, agile model. Uh, it uh, we adapted an agile model because it. Uh, uh, it, it uh, reduced all the drawbacks of a waterfall model. In waterfall model, generally we have a, uh, in waterfall model, we can't uh, accept the changes. So in a, in agile model, we can, we can adapt the changes. There are mainly four rules. Uh, generally, agile is not a methodology. It is, it is a uh, set of values uh, and principles. Uh, the four main values of this uh, agile model is that uh, uh, here the So generally, Agile model follows four uh, values. First one is user satisfaction or collaboration. Here, if a user, uh, uh, while developing a program or after developing a program, if user has any any changes or any needs in application, we can uh, change uh, by using Agile model. Whereas, and uh, second value is that working software is given priority than document. That means we uh, concentrating rather than uh, rather on a document, we go for a working. Uh, Software that means work has to be uh, performed rather than uh, uh, making it into a document. And next is changes accepted. As I said, that if a user have uh, any changes in their uh, requirement, then we can go for a change. Changes accepted in this model. And the fourth uh, value is that uh, coordination rather than process. That means uh, here this process uh, makes the testers and development team to work time, uh, simultaneously, but the goal is different. 
uh, both the testers and they work together, but their goal is different. Both work on their particular uh, uh, particular branches or uh, sites. Uh. So coordination is done. Co we have coordination in this process, but uh, their uh, uh, tools uh, or requirements will be different. This is all about the working order. Thank you.